Buenos dias, guten morgen, good morning Spartan TV. Today is Friday, April 23rd, and here is your Spartan news. Spartans, we are rescheduling the new club info meeting to April 28th after school at 1230. Since Schoology was down, we want to make sure that if you want to start a new club, you have the information needed. So again, the new club info meeting has been postponed till next week, Wednesday after school at 1230 in the Spartan Splash conference section. See you there. Spartans, our fundraiser with Raising Canes was a success. We raised over a hundred dollars. Not only did you have a good meal, but that money is going directly towards end of the year activities. The PTA is having a C's Candies fundraiser that is happening now till May 16th. It is online through Yum Raising. A portion of every sale goes towards PTA. PTA and ASB have been working closely together through activities this year, and PTA has supported through service projects and donations towards the eighth grade promotion. If you'd like to purchase some C's candy to support PTA and their efforts to support the students of Burkhurst Junior High, an email will be sent out with a link towards Yum Raising. Do you or your family purchase a lot from Amazon? Amazon Smile allows you to connect your account to a nonprofit of your choice. PTA can be that choice. A small portion of every purchase goes towards our PTA. PTA is committed to partnering with ASB and improving the activities and community here at Brookhurst Junior High. So sign up and help the PTA out. Not long ago was National Pet Day where we had a lunch club where you brought your pets. It was a fun time getting to see everyone and their pets. Here are a few pictures of some Brookhurst pets. Hey yo, pet check. You're gonna wanna be my best friend, baby. You're gonna wanna be my best friend. I said that. You're gonna wanna be my best friend, baby. You're gonna wanna be my best friend. Once again, Brookhurst brought it home with the Soapbox Speech Competition. This is put on by Lexington Junior High and Cypress High School. The top three finishers were all Brookhurst Avid students. So let's give them some praise, guys. First place, Scarlett Valentin. Second place, Cindy Ramirez Rodriguez. Third place, Cassandra Garcia. Congratulations, Spartans. You are amazing. Job well done. Spartans, the Guardians of the Garden are having an Earth Week raffle. Complete the April 2021 challenge on the Seek app and submit a screenshot of your badge in order to enter for a $10 gift card to the restaurant of your choice. Additional challenge badges may be submitted for additional raffle entries. Don't miss out on this chance to learn and win. Hi there, Spartans. This is Mrs. G from your Brookers Library, and I'm here to remind you that today is First Chapter Friday. First Chapter Friday is a podcast where you can listen to the first chapter of what could be your next favorite book. This week, we continue to celebrate National Poetry Month, but it was also Earth Day. So what better way to celebrate both than with today's book? Hello, Earth, Poems to Our Planet by Joyce Sidman. We walk on Earth's surface every day, but how often do we wonder about the incredible planet around us? From the molten cracks below to the shimmering move above, Hello Earth, Poems to Our Planet, explores the wonders of the natural world. This playful journey across our puzzle piece continents does not hesitate to ask questions, even of the Earth itself. Joyce Sidman's imaginative poems encourage boundless curiosity, and Marin Essien's Laura's stunning paintings capture the beauty of Earth's ecosystems, creatures, and powerhouse plants. This book concludes with extensive scientific material to foster further learning about how the Earth works, from water cycles to plate tectonics to the origin of ocean tides. A celebration of science and art, Hello Earth, Poems to Our Planet, is a book to cherish in whatever landscape you call home. You can listen to some of the poems from Hello Earth, Poems to Our Planet by Joyce Sidman in our Brookhurst Library Schoology course 
under First Chapter Friday podcast. And you can check this book out now from your Burkhurst library. It's test taking time. Test taking can be a big stress factor for students. When faced with stress, sometimes young people turn to dangerous alternatives like drinking, smoking or vaping, or drugs to help them cope. But these things will only complicate your life in ways that can hurt you mentally and physically. Club Live Toupe has some great alternatives to help you deal with the stress of taking a test, because testing can be stressful. One practical way to reduce stress levels is by reading. Research has shown that reading can help reduce stress. In fact, after reading, a person's stress can re be reduced by 68%. While your brain is engaged in a story, your heart rate slows down and your muscles relax. Another way that you can help reduce stress is by listening to music. The sounds of music can connect to your emotions and help you be calm and relaxed. Listening to music before and after taking a test will comfort anyone. Another thing you can do to help with stress is exercise. Exercise and physical activity help boost your energy, improves your mood, and promotes better sleep at night. And a good night's sleep is super important when testing. Some examples of easy and fun exercises that you can participate in include dancing, yoga, hiking, and sports. Something else you can do to reduce stress is drawing, coloring, or painting. Drawing, painting, and coloring are all good coping mechanisms when it comes to stress. Take a seat in a comfortable environment and create art, whether it's just coloring, drawing, or taking a canvas to paint. Doing these things can help ease someone's mind and help them relax. When the stress is really getting to you, sometimes the best thing you can do is to talk to someone. Talking about your feelings can help you stay in good mental health and it helps deal with times that you feel troubled or stress. Talking about your feelings isn't a sign of weakness. It's a part of taking charge of your well-being and doing what you can to stay healthy. Above all, in times of major stress, like taking tests, just remember to stay positive. Positive thinking helps manage stress and it is very effective when getting through hard times. Club Live Tupe wants you to know that we think you're brilliant. We don't want you to lose focus and definitely don't stress the test because we know that you've got this. That's all for today, Spirens. Remember that without you, Brooke is incomplete. Together, we care, we thrive, and we belong. We do our part because that is the Spartan way. We got this.